it's obviously a Republican plan. They all the Republicans have signed off. They're giddy at the at the concept of of basically turning uh, our federal government into Tammany Hall. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, but uh, there is, I mean, we're looking at these Senate races now. We, give me your sense of like where the Democrats are in terms of like uh, the fall elections, because there doesn't seem to be. And we're going to be talking uh, in just uh, a couple of minutes to uh, to Lucas Kuntz, who's running uh, for U.S. Senate in Missouri in a um, in a heated primary in Missouri. And I think he has if he gets uh, if he gets the nomination, which is, you know, certainly not not a lock. He's running up against a self-funded millionaire billionaire. I'm not quite Mm -hmm. sure. Um, And uh, but. And it, and it may take the Republicans, you know, uh, to nominate Crichton. But there's a chance that that starts to come into play. And, and six months ago, the idea that Missouri w- was like a possible pickup. Forget about would it. Would have been crazy. Yeah. Would have been I mean, crazy. Yeah. Um, right. I mean, you know, we um, we remember 2010 when Republicans primary voters cost themselves a lot of elections, basically. But uh, um I don't know. It's really hard to predict in part because polling seems completely broken. Um, you know, like we, you know, I think uh, the polling like field has never has not recovered from the last few cycles. So it's hard to predict. Um, I think the national environment feels a lot less dire than it did a few months ago. Um, and again, it's happening because of conservative overreach. And and what I what I would say is that, like, this is a time You know, Democrats are going to want to run on, especially if they if they get this passed. We'll see if they pass this deal. We'll see if they pass this deal. They're going to want to run on. They're going to want to run on chips and infrastructure, and they're going to they're going to want to run if gas prices keep falling. They're going to run want to run on that. Um, But this is a time, and I think Brian Boyler just wrote this too. This is a time to actually, for Democrats to actually do a national campaign, hammering on the social extremism of the right because it's out of control. And they're, when they focus on kitchen table issues, they are seeding that ground. Um, and it's not actually popular. Like, these things are not popular. And so that's kind of has been my feeling that's been growing over the last few weeks. Like, well, definitely run on the accomplishment. If you manage to do something, run on it if you manage to do something. But don't shy away from, like, actually making this a culture war in your favor. I, 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 don't, I don't necessarily think that they are... Uh have embraced that final part yet though alex because i just feel that there is this sense among this uh, very i don't want to say geriatric but old uh fossilized democratic leadership <laughs> that's worse um <laughs> yeah that fossilized is actually worse than geriatric <laughs> <laughs> but it's more fun to say yeah. uh fossilized democratic leadership that you know uh, they are, I think, m- often uh, under the impression that even saying the word abortion is something they should stay away from. They're on the we're we're pro-choice, we're pro uh, medical privacy, uh, not uh, uh, health care as a right or anything even close to approaching that kind of thing. And particularly on these anti-gay, anti-trans bills we've seen throughout the country, I just feel like there has not been any effort at a coordinated response um and they seem to be allowing the you know uh, giving the republicans enough rope to hang themselves uh, to uh, to that degree with their extremism but i i I, that is a prevent defense approach as opposed to making the case in and of itself that they are extreme and uh, insane you're no you're totally right that is their strategy this is this it's self-impeachment right this is this has been their strategy um it doesn't work but this has been their strategy republicans will hurt themselves by being so extreme that they naturally get punished for it and that's uh, that's why i'm saying like for once like listen to the your focus groups like actually do the thing we accuse you of doing and be focused like focus group driven and actually make the make the make the positive make the negative case but actually make the case yourself instead of just saying um republicans are going to get so wild that the media will say they're all extreme and all the voters will naturally come to the conclusion that they're extreme. Like, yeah, you got to actually make the case. So, yeah, I'm totally with you, Emma. Let, let's play this uh, this ad because we were we you know, we, we pulled this ad. It's a, a a leaked ad. It's getting some grief online. Um, and I'm not so sure that it that grief is warranted. I'm curious as to your um, uh, perspective on this. This is a D triple C uh, ad. 
that is uh, targeted um, towards uh, Latino voters in Texas and um, in three other states. Um, and here is here is the ad. This is an audio ad. L l I'm, I'm curious as to your take on this. Oh, my back and neck hurt. That's because you're working too much. Calmate. You should slow down. I can't. I need to make more money. Look, with gas prices through the roof and my kids needing daycare, it's not enough. Don't worry so much. I'm just so stressed out, and I don't know what else to do. What you could do is vote for Democrats. These Republican extremists have no plan to help us. But Democrats seem so out of touch. Not true. These MAGA Republicans are only working for rich people. Democrats know firsthand that even small price increases are hard on working families like ours. Democrats are finding solutions, unlike the Republicans. Calmate. What you could do is vote for Democrats. Pay for it. So what's your impression on this? Because to me, it sounds like they did focus groups where they found that people think Democrats are out of touch mm -hmm. and they don't know that Democrats are have three branches of the government. Mm -hmm. And that's what this rad seems to reflect to me. And <laughs> and I believe that I believe not like, true, I, not I, true. <laughs> I, I, I believe that 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 there are more voters out there who feel that Democrats are out of touch than know that they have control of the three branches of government. I think you might be right. I mean, I'm totally I'm totally of two minds on this, and not just because it's kind of like all radio ads cringy yeah. right, but like, right of course, of course. But, uh, um i think it's absolutely the case that a really solid message is it's true people think democrats are out of touch and you can complain about it or you can run an ad where you say you think democrats are out of touch republicans only work for rich people that's a solid message that's like a message i'm 100 behind um at the same time i can understand people who are like if people are upset about <clears throat> inflation let's not <laughs> And, and gas prices and they blame the president for gas prices and the president's a democrat like let's not make that more salient by running ads about gas prices but i but no i mean i actually think this is closer to what they should be doing than than the but other I, way you know i'm not convinced of that yeah. i'm not convinced because like look you're not fooling anybody right <laughs> like, like, gas prices like it doesn't matter what you say in your ad i know that gas prices are higher than they should be yeah. And, you know, it doesn't matter what you say in your ad, like there's there's some, you know, I, I'm, I'm working too hard. And so on some level, I think there is value in Democrats acknowledging it. Um, it the, the, the really valuable thing would be if they have the ability to sort of like, you know, fix those things. I don't think they, they with gas prices. Incidentally, Exxon today announced record breaking profits. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, every Democrat should be out there today. I know that they're feeling their oats about the, uh, the, the Senate bill, and maybe they want to just lay low and not upset Joe Manchin and, and criticize the fossil fuel industry or whatnot. But, uh, next week, you know, after that bill is signed or whenever they get this through reconciliation, uh, I guess a couple of weeks from now, um, the, 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 they should be out there hammering. Oh, yeah. Exxon, yeah. I mean, uh, in, a, yeah. in a big Absolutely. way. But you've got to acknowledge these things. Yeah. Right. I mean, you can't like, you know, you you, you have to acknowledge these things. And I think there's value in doing think, it because yeah. it's the Democrats realizing, like, well, we don't have the greatest message, but we do have a good message, which is they're lunatics. They're lunatics. Yeah. And if anything, I wish that ad would hit that harder, too, where it's like agreed. You could have a version of that ad that is like, yeah, you're worried about inflation and gas prices. But like they're concerned they're not going to do anything about inflation, and gas prices, because they're worried about uh, 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 drag book club at the library. Like that's their concern right now. <laughs> like they're I, they're they're off the rails. They're worried about canceling Dr. Seuss and not caring at all about the economy. But we're the ones who actually mm. want to do something about it. 
I'm not sure necessarily, to be honest with you, like some of those Latino communities. Oh, yeah. No, for a Latino community, probably bad, but yeah, for it, a religious one. But yeah. Tend I think to be there's more a, uh, religious, socially conservative. I just uh, think that there's a there's a version you could do where you could say like they're focused on unimportant things, and not just like yeah, you know, they're focused on things that don't have any effect on how much you pay for gas. If they were to, if they had an opportunity to redo, redo you know, redo it, they would be like they're voting against our vets. You know, exactly, I mean, I, yeah. I, I mean, that's what I would. I mean, in, in terms of just like, but uh, it, 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 it's interesting. There's definitely sort of a. Um, if this mansion thing holds uh, and the reporting is correct in terms of what influenced him, you know, there at least is sort of some type of blueprint on how you can influence these things uh, mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, and it's encouraging uh, to see, you know, Chuck Schumer do something. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for once. <laughs>